When it comes to racing games on the NES, you're not going to get much better than RC Pro-Am. Sure, there's stuff like Excite Bike and Rad Racer, but RC Pro-Am may be the most accessible. There's not much of a learning curve here to be at least competent at racing. You just hold the A button and steer with left and right on the D-pad. The track itself is locked, so to speak, so you can't go veering off into the grass too far. The game does a nice job keeping your car moving even if you suck at first and you keep missing turns. You're always going to have a fair shot at catching up. The game is laid out in an endless series of races featuring over 20 tracks. You race against three opponents and you qualify for the next race by finishing in at least third place to move on to the next level. And you just keep going and going and going, piling up trophies. So yeah, unlike Rad Racer and Excite Bike, you're not racing the clock, there's actual opponents here. Another aspect that makes RC Pro-Am stand out are the hazards, weapons, and upgrades lying on the track. You can upgrade your car in three areas, tire grip, acceleration, and top engine speed. There's also stuff like puddles and oil slicks that slow you down, as well as power-ups like missiles and invincibility. So, to sum up, if you've ever wanted to know why RC Pro-Am is so highly thought of, it's because it's easy to pick up and play and not totally suck at, even if you've never played a racing game before, and because you can blow up other cars. It's as simple as that. A bit of trivia here, this game was developed in 1987 by Rare, one of the first games they ever developed, and this helped put them on the map big time. They also developed the NES sequel, RC Pro-Am 2, and the biggest change here is that this game is not only co-op, but it's co-op for up to four players. The thing is though, the racing has a different feel to it, it's just as forgiving, but it it kind of lacks the same sense of speed, if that makes sense. The second game does have a lot more meat to it, like buying upgrades and weapons with money you pick up on the track, so if you'd rather have more control over upgrades and more stuff in general, then there you go. The second game is very good, and a very worthy sequel, and obviously co-op is a big time selling point, but personally, I like the streamlined quality of the first game more. No frills, not many options to mess with, just race. Rare also made Super RC Pro-Am for the Game Boy. It's pretty good and a reasonably faithful representation of the first NES game. It just has the usual Game Boy limitations you'd expect. The frame rate isn't all that great, for example, and the scrolling gets kind of wonky sometimes. There's also a Genesis version from Rare called Championship Pro-Am. This again is a faithful remake that polishes up the NES version while adding a couple of things here and there. You race against four opponents, for example. So yeah, any way you can experience RC Pro-Am, whether it's the two NES games, Super RC Pro-Am for Game Boy, or Championship Pro-Am for Genesis, you really can't go wrong. But again, personally, I prefer the original RC Pro-Am for NES. I like the streamlined quality of the racing gameplay and the arcade-style structure. Just keep racing until you can't anymore. But if you'd rather blow up a friend or two and instead of the computer, then you're going to want to play the second game.